Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a what's in my vanity uh, video and it's just going to be all about everything I use, like all the stuff I have. I'm going to make it probably into two parts because I have a lot of stuff and when I tried to film it with everything in one, it was like 25 minutes long. So I'm just going to do part one with like eye stuff and then um, part two with all my like face stuff, my wash when I wash my face with and everything. So, hope you guys enjoy. I went and put a hat on because I'm not showered or anything today. My hair is a mess, my face is a mess, so this will just kinda help. Um, the first thing I'm gonna start off with is all my Morph palettes, which are super, super good buy. Um, for, especially if you're first starting out and you want like more variety in like shades and stuff they're $22 and I think some change but you get so many shades this is the 35k but I mean you get a ton of stuff with it so definitely worth the buy it's very high quality um I've not had a problem with them creasing or anything they're amazing so okay sorry I had to let my dogs in they were outside the door crying so I have the 35K, the 35T, 35N, 35P, 35O, and 35F. And I'll show you guys all the shades. Um, I love this brand so much. They're cruelty free, so very, that's a big deal for me. Um, so I'm very, like, happy with that. So I'm just going to go through and show you all the shades. This is the 35T palette. They're all kind of a mixture of like shimmers and matte colors, except for the 35N, I think. It's all matte, if I remember correctly. Which is this one. This is the 35N. They're all matte shades. This is the 35P. These are all like, this is the plum palette, so it's all like purpley and browns. I love this shade. It's such a pretty color. And I just got the 35F and 35O today, like as I'm filming this, they came into the door. So this is the 35F, which is the Fall Winter Frost. It's a new palette. I haven't even used it yet, but I'm so excited to. And this is the Holy Grail 35O that took me months to try and get because they were always sold out. But so pretty. I love this palette. I'm so excited. I'm going to make a video like probably this weekend with these two palettes. So, um, Next, I'm going to show you all my naked palettes. I have all four in case. I'm assuming most of you know what they look like, but I'll show you some of them. This is the naked one. And these are, I really recommend getting Morph before getting these because there's so many more shades with Morph and it's like half the price and you don't get nearly as many, but they are still very high quality, amazing, I love Naked, so definitely look into them, but I wouldn't make it your first eyeshadow purchase. This is the Naked 2. The Naked 1's not as like smoky as the two and four, and then three is a lot of like pinks, very like neutrally shades. Um, this is a good like everyday palette. Um, the Naked Two and the Naked Obviously Smoky are very like going out, like party kind of palettes, but I love this one. I got it because of the whiskey, because I have a dog named Whiskey. And I just wanted all the naked palettes. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is Kat Von D's Monarch palette, which I use a lot. I use this shade a lot, and I use the dark brown, and then the top three a lot. Um, very high quality, just like all the other palettes I've showed you. Um, they're amazing. I love them. I love Kat Von D's brand. She's also cruelty free, and I'm pretty sure Urban Decay's cruelty free, if I remember correctly. If not, I'm going to have a problem using their palettes, but I think I looked into it. Um, but I have a lot of her 
more stuff, Kat Von D's, and it's never disappointed me, so it's amazing. Then I have my tart, tartlet in bloom. Sorry, my animals are like fighting or playing. I don't know what they're doing. Whiskey? No. But this is my in bloom palette, which I've been using in every video that I have uploaded because I just got it and I'm in love with the shades. Um, they're very like subtle, they can be smoky, they're just so amazing. They smell so good, like they smell delicious. So I def definitely recommend looking into Tarte. Tarte is also cruelty free. Like I said, I don't typically use anything that's not cruelty free. Um, but, yes. The next palette I'm gonna show you is the My Too Faced Le Grand, Le Grand Palettes. palettes? Um, it, it was this huge like kit thing. It comes with a huge palette, um, an eyelid primer, a lipstick, and it came with one other thing, but it's gone in my... Oh, it came with the Better Than Sex Mascara, and it comes in this cute little setup and a big box. It's amazing. But these are the shades. Um, it has a lot of variety, which I like. It has two blushes a highlighter, and like a bronzer, and then a bunch of eyeshadows, and they're all like very versatile, there's not, like, it's not one, like, what am I trying to say, theme, I guess, it has a bunch of different colors, and I really like that, I love this palette, um, the packaging's cute, mine's all dirty because I've had it for a while, but, yeah, hey! Be nice for your sister. And then I have this little eyeshadow that came in an Ipsy like package thing and if you haven't looked into Ipsy or don't know what it is, definitely look into it. It's $10 a month to get five makeup brand, nail polish, face wash brands, like five different things from each category in a trial size to try and I have yet to be disappointed by any of it. They are amazing and it's a good way to find new brands. So, yes. Okay, so next I'm going to show you guys my mascaras. So obviously, I've used these two in every video I've uploaded. I've only uploaded two, but I love Too Faces Better Than Sex Mascara. It is amazing. I will probably use it for the rest of my life. I have naturally long eyelashes, but they're super blonde, and these really darken them and bring out the um, length in them, and the brush is amazing. I'll show you. In case you guys have not bought this or seen anything on it yet, uh, that's what it looks like. It's just amazing. I have the waterproof version for when I went to Hawaii, and it is super, super, like, soap and waterproof, so buy with caution. Um, <laughs> I had such a hard time getting it off, but I would like wear it for like two, three days while I was in Hawaii because it just didn't wash off. So, <laughs> but it's super amazing. Love this mascara. I recommend it 120%. Um, the mascara I used before, I bought this because the tubing was super cute. My puppy chewed on this, so that's why it's all messed up now, but I really like the packaging. The Roller Lash by Benefit. I like this mascara too, it's just not my favorite anymore after I found Better Than Sex. Um, but that's the brush and I do like the shape of it and I like that it's um, like more plasticky than the bristle but the bristle gets into my eyelashes better so yeah. But this one works really well too, super cute but uh, packaging benefit is a great thing. My dog ran into the vanity. Um, hard having animals it's like having children but yes those are amazing and I recommend them 120% as well so these are gonna be my eyeliners that I use constantly so obviously these have been in my videos Kat Von D's tattoo liner it's a pen because I don't like the like like what this one is like the little wandy thing. 
like a brush more because it's just harder for me to get the point across and then I had the same thing in white by Kat Von D. Like I said, I love her brand, so I have a lot of her stuff. Um, this one's a Hard Candy Walk the Line Liquid Glitter Liner that I use for like smoky, like going out, partying. Um, eye makeup, this brand is amazing. Everything's like $6 across the line, and I've yet to be disappointed by them. My Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. Love this, it's great. My makeup doesn't crease when I wear it. Um, it's just all around great. I've used it in both videos. The brush looks like it's not tinted or has any color to it, so it's not going to mess with the color of your eyeshadow. Um, I, the Naked palettes, when you buy them, come with these, which is an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. <laughs> testers. Stop! And I haven't tried all of them. I obviously own the original and I tried Sin and Sin is good for like shimmery eye makeup that you're doing so it's a good way to keep it like very bold and out there. These are all my crease brushes. I'm missing one. No. Um, I have one for my Spectrum palette, an e.l.f. one, my smoky naked palette came with this one. Um, this one I got from a Walmart package deal, a large fluffy brush, and this little shader one. Um, they all work super good in the crease for blending, cut creases, anything you can imagine. So very amazing. The next ones I have are my actual, like what I use for eyeshadow on my eyelid. It's really just this one, but these two came with the Urban Decay Naked. This is the Naked 2 and the Naked 3 palette. Um, there's like a flatter, kind of round fluffy brush, but not really. And then they have flat ends, which are what I use to put like glitter or shine in the inner corner of my eyes when I do stuff like that. So, very high quality. They're all very, very soft. The I'll show you my Spectrum eye brush set in my other video. But I love this one to put on stuff on my eyelid. You guys have seen it. It's very large. Gets the job done. It's amazing. I can't tell you what brand. Oh my god. Sorry. What are you doing in there? Kid was making weird noises, so it scared me. <laughs> Sorry for dropping you guys on everything. Um, this brush I use for brow bone colors to define it or whatever. Um, it's just an e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. You can get these at Walmart or Walgreens. This came in that set I was telling you about. Came with like 12 brushes. Um, I was using this one for making cut creases or shading the underneath of my lash line. But since I got my makeup, what? My eyeshadow brush from my Naked Smoky, I used the end of this one. My dog likes to eat Q-tips and my cats. What are you doing? No. Oh, hang on, she has a Q-tip. This is my kitten, and she had a Q-tip, and my little dog had a Q-tip as well. For some reason, my animals are obsessed with Q-tips. Hey, hi, this is Hennessy. All my animals are named after alcohol, so. Anyways, and then this one, I use this brush to put like, um, if I want something just focused in the center, I use these on this brush on the side for darker colors. And that's about it. Um, I don't think I really have any Oh my. I'm so sorry. My phone is shitty. Um, I don't think I have much of anything else to show you guys right now. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be making the face makeup one right after this video. So Thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more, please watch part two.